Uh, you may have noticed in a previous module that I did a little modification to the normal template, and I did that by adding a quick style. So I made some changes, uh, I added a style, and now every time I create a new document here, I see I have a style available to me that wasn't before. So I type text, and I can just apply that new style just like that. So you already know one way to, uh, press enter here, you already know one way to modify the normal template that you use to create your, your documents, the majority of your documents. Is there anything else you can do? Well, the answer is yes, there is. You can also open the normal template and make changes to it and then save it. And here's how you do it, at least in Windows Vista. Options will look a little bit different when you're using Windows XP. But what you do essentially is you click on the Office button and then open. And then what you're looking for is a templates folder. And in that templates folder, and again in Vista, it probably will appear at the very top of your list here. Double click on normal.dotm. So that is your document template. And bingo, you get what looks like this. Now again, I've made a change to that normal template, so that heading of BC heading appears in there. But what I want to key in on is that I'm looking at this, that this should appear in the title bar, normal.dotm. So now what I can do is I can modify styles as I please, and one of the ways I can do that is click on the styles button and say, you know what, normal isn't going to look like that. It's not going to use this calibre, it's going to use Arial, or it's going to use Times New Roman, and it's going to be 12 point font. So you can make changes all you want to. You could also uh, close this, and then you could also make uh, changes that, that uh, look like this. You can make paragraph changes. Open up the paragraph dialog box. We'll change our spacing. We'll do double spacing is going to be the default style. We're going to specify that uh, in our ruler, we're going to set margins that are an inch in on either side. We'll a couple inches here. So when I start typing a document, Based on this normal template, this is what it's going to look like. Now, here's what you do. Go ahead and save this. So file and save your normal.dotm. And now, the next time I open up a document, so let's just say I'm going to create a new creation here. Watch what will happen. Now, again, this is the template. So I click on New, and everything about that template comes with it as I create this new document. So if I want to, the heading is in there, the style that I added, normal has been changed, also the text, because it's part of a template, it's there as kind of a placeholder. So this is some new text, and again notice, what is the font style? It's Arial, it's 12 point. I'm starting that text uh, an inch in on the left margin, and so on. So if you want to change it, that's how you do it. Now, what if you want to undo all of those changes that you just did? Well, here's what you do. You go and I'm not going to show you the exact file management here, but you go back to your templates folder and you grab that normal.dotm file that you just modified and you get rid of it. You delete it, you move it, something. Next time that Word opens up, it will create a new normal.dotm template and it will revert back to default settings. So you can do this without uh, too much worry about, well, what, what will it affect documents and what, how, how do I undo all this stuff? Just get rid of that template that you just created, or that you just modified, I should say, and Vista, and I should say, more specifically, Office 2007 will create a new Word template for you. Based on this normal template, this is what it's going to look like.